Ah, hello, hockey fans. Yes, this is a Packers shirt, but ah, it doesn't matter. But anyway, so um, night three is in the books, and it was quite interesting. For one, Florida beat Boston. Ooh. Well then, <clears throat> and handily too, a six three win in Boston, so it's one to one. Though I I did I did have Boston five because I don't believe in picking sweeps, even when it's something like this. I mean I don't believe in picking sweeps. Sweeps really shouldn't happen in hockey because I think everybody's pretty much even. This is why um <laughs> kind of this is why I rolled my eyes when people said the Abs would sweep Seattle, but um. But yeah, so it's one to one, and now that makes things interesting. The next two games are in Sunrise, and Florida could two step their way into a big series lead. But um, oh, speed of big series lead. You know who got into a big series lead uh, after tonight? Carolina wasn't easy though. Um, uh, they had to fight for it. The Islanders. Uh, Improved their game from game one, managed to force overtime, but it wasn't enough. Jesper Foss put it in just over five minutes in. So um, so that's three overtime games so far uh, in as many nights. Um, so yeah, Carolina took the commanding lead. They defended home ice brilliantly. Now they got to go to New York. Um, <laughs> so the Minnesota Wild decided to start Fury. Now, Fury, we know. Flurry's a legend. He's won three Stanley Cups. He was in the fi- he was part of the, uh, the the Golden Knights run to the final in their first year of existence. But from what I've seen and heard, his best years are behind him as far as in net. He's not like you know really really faulty, but he's not really the Flurry of old either. And it showed Dallas turned him into his personal hacky sack. It was crazy. Of course, Rupe Hintz had a four point night, including. A hat trick. So uh, Dallas beat beat uh, Minnesota handily after that overtime loss in Game One. So that's one to one. And of course there was the Oilers game. Uh, Oilers and Kings. Oilers jumped out to a big lead. Well, not a big lead. Jumped out to two nothing lead. Then they lost it. The, uh, Kings tied up in the second period. And it, but the Oilers took the lead um, early in the third. And it didn't look like we were going to repeat of Game One. They pulled the goalie. And I thought, okay. They did this before. Don't do it again. Not this time. Not this time. They were ready. They were ready. Uh, Oilers got the empty netter, and that was that. So that's 1-1. One, one. So Oilers Kings is 1-1. One, one. Uh, Panthers Bruins is 1-1. One, one. Um, Wild Stars, that's 1-1. One, one. But Carolina is up 2-0 over the Islanders. And I suspect quick work will be made of the Islanders as this series progresses. Uh, maybe the Islanders win a game. Maybe. I did say Carolina is, did I say 6 or 7? I had this be a long series. I might be dead wrong there. <laughs> oh man! But anyway, um, it was in, and there was a lot, a lot of, a lot of pony minutes tonight too. Just, whew, all over the place. But anyway, so in any event, we got our first game twos out of the way. Of course, the next time, those, the next time those four games, the next time those four series take place, that'll be on Friday, and the se- and the scenes will shift. We, those games will be in um, in, um, in in New York, in, in Long Island, in um, in uh, Sunrise, in L.A., and in Minnesota. So there we go. As for the next day, the next batch of game twos take place. Well, it's officially sat, uh, Thursday here, so later today. And it's the same teams who played. It's the same teams who played on Tuesday. Game two, Leafs, Bolts, and make and Toronto needs to win. Because I think and, and it's going to be tough because Bunting got suspended because NHL officiating hates Toronto. And uh, so Bunting got suspended, and I think it's a three. I think it's a three-game suspension. So it's games through two, three, and four that they're out for. That he's out for. So. Yeah, so they have to make do without him, and it's gonna be it's gonna be tough because Toronto needs to win this. They need to win this because if they lose and go down zero and two, I don't know what's gonna happen. My prediction still remains the same. I still say Leafs in six because they should beat the Lightning. This is a weak Lightning team, but Tampa, 
turned it on in game one, and I just can't see how to ha- how this happened. But anyway, so that's so that that'll kick off the action, and then we have game two in New Jersey between the um, Rangers and Devils, and um, and the Rangers took game one, so they're at one zero, and they have a chance to really stick it to New Jersey, and then. We have Game 2, Avalanche Kraken. I think we're going to get this. We're going we're gonna to take Game 2. Because Game 1, I don't know what Game 1 was. Um, it, 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 it was missed opportunities and it's a lot of faulty play. I think, the cob, I think we're going to get all the cobwebs off. And we're going to be in the mode, close to the mode we were in last year. And I think we're going to even this thing. We need to. And it's game, and of course it's game two between Winnipeg and Vegas, and Winnipeg mollywhopped Vegas uh, in game one. Um, like I said, Hellebuck's the type of goalie that can steal a series. Vegas needs to hit him fast. If they don't, they'll be looking at a game two loss, and they'll be looking at a 2-0 deficit headed north of the border. But Winnipeg could be halfway into halfway on their way into a major upset. Upsetting the top team in the um, in the Western Conference. Wow! So those are the game twos, and of course Friday's the, Friday is the the scene shifting game threes in uh, Long Island, Sunrise, Minnesota, and L.A. So that's Friday. So that's my recap of uh, day three's action. It was pretty pretty intense, pretty interesting. Uh, we saw uh, one more game with the overtime. I hope we get some overtime in the next in the next batch of game twos. Uh, if we if we need to go, we'll I'll take it as long as we win the game. But anyway, um, if you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe if you want more, and I'll be back to recap the next batch of game twos. Hopefully, with some good news in the Avalanche front. So stay tuned.